as far as this course of vipassana is concerned uh, i am uh, i am very thrilled after completing this course and i want to set some light on this course so first of all uh, while on arrival uh, uh, we are informed that through the, this entire period we have to observe a silence of 10 days this is called noble silence means you have to be in yourself you don't have to interact to anybody else in your surrounding so the entire thing is about overhauling your mind uh, a, a deep rooted surgery of your body and mind to reform it to reshape it so this was the primary thing we had to observe in those 10 days apart from that the second thing was that we had to as per the tenets of buddhism as buddha himself has enunciated this principle so we have to observe five silas silas are nothing but moral temperaments the first and these are very important for the realization of realization of uh, this whole thing of vipassana the first and foremost among them is you have to speak a truth means this is the first 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 proposition of sila satya second is non injury to any even any living being that is ahimsa the third being non stealing non appropriating other property the fourth is living a life free from indulgences avoiding all type of sensual pleasures and fifth and the uh, not the least uh, is avoid any type of intoxication so these are the things which are mandatory if you if you are if you are venturing in this field these are primary thing you have to observe so these are the sila uh, after that uh, i will like to throw some light on the schedule of this program uh, the uh, on every day this uh, you know this was a rigorous uh, uh, program uh, containing a schedule of around 17 hours per day of meditation we have uh, you know here and there breaks of 5 minutes and so and for one hour for lunch a uh, few minutes few minutes for snacks so every day we had to wake up at 4 am the bell rings and even uh, dhamma servers comes to your room and with bells and you after getting prepared you have to reach dhamma hall and there was session from 4:30 to 6:30 there after there was you know breakfast again from 8 Eight to nine, and then nine to eleven. There were intensive meditation sessions, uh, and after that again there was lunch from eleven to eleven thirty-five. Then from <coughs> one to five continuously with a break after one and one half or five minutes, and then again on five we had some snack, and thereafter from six to nine thirty. This was continuous around sixteen seventeen hours. You were busy, so this was. done this program has been designed deliberately that you you are forced to live like a bhikshu that is the primary requirement of this of this course that ki aapko ek sanyasi ka jeevan jeena hota hai wo pehli matlab zarurat hai is course ki iske baad main iske aage aata hu ki prakriyaen kya kya hum logon ne seekhi prakriyaon ki baat agar hum kare to isme sabse pehle होता है कि इसका लक्ष्य क्या है लक्ष्य ये है कि जो बुद्ध ने भी कहा कि हम अपने दुखों को दूर करना है जो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट है सोसाइटी में वी हैव टू इरेडिकेट हिज फर्स्ट प्रोपोजिशन वाज दैट यस देयर आर सफरिंग्स इन द वर्ल्ड एंड माय धम्मा इज नथिंग बट अ वे टू इरेडिकेट द सफरिंग्स फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड तो फॉर दिस ही डिवाइज द होल न्यू वे दिस वॉज अ रिवोल्यूशन इन दिन दिस इन द रिलीजियस कम्युनिटी विच वॉज मार्ड बाई द डिस्कशंस ऑन सोल parmatma hell heaven and all those useless things which are which are extremely non relevant to the life of you know human being so many theories were there but nothing was relating to the miseries of human being so in this connection uh, uh, this uh, this technique was devised so first we for first three days for few uh, three uh, first three days we we learn anapan kriya anapan is nothing but you you watch very carefully your incoming and outgoing breaths so this thing you have to practice and after that you have to feel sensation in some limited triangular area means after you know uh, after investing a few days in this you get a feel of that thing that you start developing a sensation and and uh, this is part of you know uh, there are three things which buddha has propounded in the realization of the ultimate truth first is 
your seal second is samadhi and, and third is pragya so for realizing the seals this the first uh, you know first three days are invested after you get some confidence you get some uh, you know some your hand hands on anapan kriya uh, uh, we 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 are made to practice samadhi samadhi means nothing but concentration but samadhi in other faith or other philosophy and samadhi of buddha is different buddha talks of samyak samadhi samyak samadhi means your concentration with you know with being involved in kusal karmas अगर आपकी समाधि सम्यक नहीं होगी तो एक शिकारी भी शिकार करता है वो समाधि करता है और इसको मार देता है एक समाधि सम्यक समाधि होनी चाहिए ये दूसरी प्रैक्टिस होती है सम्यक समाधि में क्या करते हैं हम लोग कि हम अपनी पूरी बॉडी को स्कैन करते हैं अपने मन की आंखों द्वारा अपनी अवेयरनेस के द्वारा बाई मूविंग आवर अवेयरनेस फ्राम टॉप टू बॉटम फ्राम हेड टू फीट वी ऑब्जर्व ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्गन एंड The most important thing, the crux of this technique is that when when some you know some incident, some wanted or unwanted incident occur in our surroundings, there are some sensation in our body. So we have to see that sensation. But by being very neutral, very you know in a drastab how we not we not have to. फील द पेन सेंसेशन ऑफ पेन विथ पेन मीन अगर आपको कोई संवेदना होती है तो उसको बहुत ही हम तटस्थ भाव से देखने की कोशिश करते हैं ना कि उसको रिएक्ट करते हैं क्योंकि देखिए बुद्ध ने जो ये जो ये मार्ग बनाया उन्होंने हर कदम पे सच को देखा कि दुख का कारण क्या है दुख का कारण वो बाहरी घटनाओं को नहीं बताया वो अंदर की संवेदनाओं को मेन दुख का कारण बताया उसका भी एक चक्र है बहुत लंबा हो सही से पूरी फिजिक्स इन्वॉल्व है उसमें इसीलिए मुझे रास्ता बहुत पसंद आया कि बुद्ध ने अपने शरीर को विघटन विश्लेषण विघटन विश्लेषण के स्तर पे जा करके के तरीके से परमाणुओं के स्तर पे तरंग के स्तर पे इस इस शरीर को ऑब्जर्व किया और ये पाया कि मतलब जब कोई संवेदना होती है और जब हम उसको रिएक्ट करते हैं तब मतलब उससे रिलेटेड पेन और बढ़ता है और मल्टीप्लाई होता है तो इसके भी एक साइंस है मैं ब्रीफ में ये बताता हूँ कि इस प्रक्रिया के अंदर ये बताया जाता है कि यू हैव टू वेरी न्यूट्रल टूवर्ड टूवर्ड्स दो सेंसेशन एंड ही हैज़ गिवन रीज़न फॉर दैट वाई टू बी न्यूट्रल वाई टू बी न्यूट्रल बिकॉज द क्रक्स ऑफ दिस थियरी इज द थियरी ऑफ इम्परमानेंस आर अनित्यवाद एवरी टाइम यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड यू हैव टू बियर इन इन द बैक ऑफ योर माइंड दैट एवरी चेंज ऑकरिंग एनी वेयर इन साइड द बॉडी is is you know non permanent it's very transient every time you know bundle of molecules are being created and being destroyed again created destroyed means form is extremely changing when the form is very much changing then you you are not supposed to develop any raga or dwes means you have not to develop any craving or aversion for the things you have you have to observe them only and by Uh, look uh, looking it uh, in such an objective way you have to be in a position of equanimity equanimity ko hindi mein samta kehte hain ki is tarah se hum cheezon ko dekhte hue samta mein rahenge to fir jo deep deep rooted impurities hain vikar hain wo fir surface pe aate hain aur dissolve hote hain that is the crux of this upasana uh, this vipassana practice so i must say in the end because this video is getting too lengthy that uh, Yes, I came here in quest of that mathematical equation or that formula of physics, which governs the transformation of the very restless, very anxious Gautam Buddha, uh, Siddhartha Gautam to Gautam Buddha, the enlightened one. And uh, I can conclusively say that uh, I have taken the baby step, the very first step towards the realization of the truth. That is nothing but. knowing about the universal law of nature one among the so many laws is that when you when you act when you behave in consonance with the laws of nature you are rewarded or you skip any kind of you know penal action but as soon as you work in opposition to in antagonism to to those principle you are immediately penalized 
so these are the things uh, in brief and uh, to realize this thing there is a another there are three fra three paths propounded by gautam buddha first was path of you know you, you know purity path of righteousness path of virtue so these are very you know if i will go in detail for detail i will make another video thank you for watching thank you very much